Good evening to this news showing that there are traffic jams occur in Bangi and near Sikh Strong 45 junctions. The traffic jams getting worse during the peak hour which is around 5.30pm until 7pm. The cause of this traffic jam is still under investigations. Therefore, people are advised to use alternative route to prevent the traffic jams. Lastly, all drivers are encouraged to be careful on the road and follow the rules. Thank you. Traffic volume, known as traffic counts, are conducted to collect basic traffic data such as traffic volumes, vehicle classes, and directional movements. This study can demonstrate volume data, critical flow periods, and the impact of motorcyclists and pedestrians on vehicular traffic flow. The most common unit of measurements is vehicle hourly volume, BPH and the following traffic volume measurements were obtained such as ADT, ADT, as well as PHV. This study has three objectives, one of which is to determine the vehicle compositions in the traffic flow stream, especially at the junction 4 stroke 36, Bangi. The other two objectives are to determine the vehicle compositions in the traffic flow stream, where to keep an eye on the traffic flow and the movement pattern at the junction for stroke 36 intersections. Lastly, calculate the volume of traffic that pass through these intersections in the Bangi area on a daily basis. Is that you, Nazirun? Let me teach you about the traffic volume. So based on your layout of the T-junctions that you have been sketched, you can illustrate that there are six lanes in this junction at Bangi. So first, you must label all the directions to do further calculations. But in your mind, during the calculate data, the stopwatch is a compulsory to determine time interval, which the data are collect until 30 minutes. 
You get data for 5 minutes. Let me get you. That counting can be done from the as low as a 5 minutes interval as you did just now. But you must start with 2 to get an hourly volume. You get the data, you do your observations from the tick mark and we can transfer from the proper documentations to your calculations. Without further ado, let me show you what you can get based on your data for this traffic volume study. If you can see in a zero, this table is the PCU converter for the road sections. Anything related to traffic volume, your data must be stored in the PCU unit. It is depends on whether you are conducting and investigating in a rural or urban area. But in your head, because each vehicle has a different standard of PC units, so you can refer to this table. Moving on to your data, for example, I'm just taking your data from the lane 1 to illustrate how the data is related to the previous table, the PCU converter table. Based on your data in the table 2A, which you traffic which the total volume for 30 minutes. The unit is a vehicle per minute. So, what are you going to do is you must convert all the vehicle's volume into PCU unit based on the previous table. Secondly, you must time with 2 to indicate that the data are in hour. Therefore, the unit you can get is PCU per hour as you can see on the table 2B. We can see from this graph from 4.45 p.m. to 6.40 p.m. There is the highest peak volume, so you should avoid these intersections because it may congested during this time. This is a peak hour when the officer are leaving the office to go home. So, the solution is you may travel the junction after 6.50 p.m., which is not high traffic volume, so you can avoid having to deal with traffic jam. Following that, this chart shows the expected traffic volume for a variety of vehicles. You can see the different type of vehicle used in these junctions. Which one has a travel the most, which one has a travel the least. This is the benefits of conducting traffic volume. Next, this bar chart illustrates the percentage of total volume for each lane. We can see that the lane which the highest percentage total volume is the lane 3, which operate from the Bandar Kajang to Putrajaya. This is because the lane 3 is frequently used by the driver. This is always congested and the lowest lane at the lane 4, as you can see in this table, which is the lane from the Bandar Kajang to Prima Bali. To avoid the traffic jam, you should take an alternate route such as the lane 4 instead of lane 3. This will allow you to arrive at your destinations in a shorter amount of time but over a longer distance than if you took the main road. Finally, vehicle types have a different road conditions and road compositions. Therefore, determining the lane compositions is very crucial. Traffic volume in the T-junction in this Bangi area has a not acceptable flow rate most of the time. Despite the T-junctions, however, this area is congested with traffic, which may cause the traffic congestions. In order to avoid traffic congestions, intersections must be planned carefully in Bangi especially, in areas where development is happening rapidly. The main concern is a capacity because saturations may occur at certain time of the year.